Hello traders, uh, hello traders, uh, the title of this video is uh, Tesla stock, Elon Musk, Elliot Wave uh, stock analysis at fast uh, speed. We are talking about uh, Tesla stock, Epic uh, TSLA, uh, Tango Sierra Lima Alpha, uh, this is uh, uh, a technology a stock uh, in fact belonging to the consumer cyclical sector all right and uh, we will be talking about uh, Elon Musk and also about ADR wave a stock analysis at uh, a fast speed why fast speed because uh, this is about uh, auto uh, manufacturer Tesla uh, do manufacturer uh, electric uh, car so for us what we do care about as uh, a technical uh, trader is to analyze the chart using the alien wave uh, principle recently uh, Elon Musk and Tesla stock uh, has been uh, in the news uh, unless uh, you are hiding somewhere under the rock uh, there were many news uh, relating to Elon Musk uh, uh, relating to a tweet that Mr. Elon Musk has uh, uh, published on Twitter and uh, some uh, investors consider that as a market manipulation and they did uh, report that the matter to the SEC Security and Exchange Commission uh, to to deal with the matter and uh, Mr. Uh, Musk has to answer to the SEC at one point in time but for us personally I like Mr. Musk, uh, Elon Musk is a brilliant okay uh, CEO, uh, a person with uh, a high IQ, uh, a brilliant uh, business person. All right. So if you use uh, PayPal, he was the one that uh, okay uh, started PayPal. All right. And now he's doing other things. SpaceX also is part of uh, uh, Mr. Mark's business. All right. So now we want to talk about this talk uh, for us as a way trader, following our area way guidelines. Uh, we have a consolidation following our Elliott Wave guidelines at uh, www.24elliottwave.com digit 2, digit 4, Elliott Waves in plural.com uh, This is the first wave on the monthly chart, alright? First wave. All right. This uh, first wave has been subdivided into five mono wave, first mono wave, second mono wave, third mono wave, fourth mono wave, and a fifth mono wave. You can see that uh, uh, the third wave is not the shortest multi wave, alright? So if you agree, that's correct. So we have first wave on a monthly chart. The second wave is a triangle, A, B, C, D, E, a triangle, alright? So if you accept that A, B, C, D, E, it's a triangle, alright? So after the first wave, the second wave is a triangle. That the first wave has been prolonged. So how many years it took this uh, f uh, second wave? This second wave, we can say that from uh, mid-2014 up to the end of 2016, all right? So it has been prolonged. So according to the earlier wave uh, principle, when, okay, a corrective wave has been prolonged, especially the fourth wave, but in this case we are talking about the second wave, it has been prolonged, there is a high chance that the following, okay, impulse wave will be extended. Alright, so that's 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 why uh, I, I'm a bit careful here. You can see that I put a question mark on this third wave. So if you count this first wave, second wave, third wave, I put a question mark on this uh, third wave because there is a high chance that this uh, supposed to be the third wave may be extended, forming okay a complex uh, third wave that uh, remain to be seen. So at this junction now, with the information that I have here, or I will say first wave, second wave, third wave, is it a third wave? Will it be prolonged? That's the question. And now, is this the fourth wave? This is a triangle being formed here. The triangle is not uh, completely formed yet. I think there's one more session. Uh, there's a high chance. Uh, now, by the way, this video is for educational purposes only. I am not inviting people to sell Tesla stock, and I am not inviting people to buy Tesla stock. It's for educational purposes to help traders to master the alien wave theory. All right, please do not contact me uh, saying that George, you were telling people to sell or buy Tesla stock. I have nothing to do with that. All right. Okay, so there is a high chance, look, you're talking about earlier wave principle, that this stock has a high chance so, to 
come to this level here in the zone of uh, 255 that remain to be seen if the market become very very bearish it may go down even all the way to this level you see the pink line here I'll draw another line there to replace the pink line hold on please even to the level of uh, hold on a second where am I even to the level of uh, 21979 all right you need to be very careful now i need to remind traders that with the information that i have according to my own wave count there is a high chance that those who are selling tesla stock may get into trouble at one point so this is my personal view all right so those who are selling tesla score should be very very careful why because of uh, uh, the second wave that have been prolonged there is a high chance that we may have a third way that is uh, extended. So if people are talking about selling text like a mad dog. It's not even in the fifth wave. You can see here, it's not in the fifth wave. And also, looking at the structure of the second wave that has been prolonged, there is a high chance that the third wave will be, maybe, maybe extended. Now, you need to understand that uh, the first thing that we are trading is what? the S&P 500. So everything else that we are discussing today, talking about in your wave stock analysis at fast speed, because we are talking about electric car that are going very, very fast, model one, model two, model three of Tesla car coming up very soon. So all talking into consideration that uh, we are trading first <laughs> the S&P 500. If the S&P 500 become very, very bearish, he may drag a Tesla stock down also. So, when you are watching this video, and you, you understand everything that I've said about Tesla stock, just remember that we are trading first the S&P 500, and if the S&P 500 become bearish, it may drag this stock down like every other stock, all right? So, we are talking about the market environment, or the trading triangle, the market first, before the individual stock, in this case, the, S the, the, the Tesla stock. Oh. Alright, so to summarize this tutorial, first wave, second wave, third wave, is this the third wave? That question is very important. Is the third wave likely to be extended? Looking at the structure of the second wave, it may be extended. No, certainly, it may be extended. Good. If this happens to be the third wave, and the third wave is not extended, now you see what we are doing? We are looking at different scenarios that can happen. Instead of taking one scenario and say, definitely this is what's going to happen. So we want to look at different scenarios, so we are prepared for it. So if this happens to be the third wave at this junction, all right, there is a high chance the fourth wave may come to this uh, level of uh, 255, even under to 219 before we will see all right the fifth wave now recently in the news mr mr mask Elon Musk was saying that uh, uh, was saying that uh, uh, the, he's going to take up tesla's uh, company to private and uh, he was quoting a price of four hundred and twenty dollars. Is it four hundred twenty? If if that's four hundred twenty, if my recollection is correct, for it's four hundred twenty, that's correct. Because why is it correct? Uh, that price is correct for Tesla because uh, if repeat, if this is the third wave, okay, if the third wave is not extended, we can use this measuring stick of the height of the first wave and project it at the end of uh, the second wave, giving us a price target in a zone of. Uh, 438 so the Tesla stock can go up to even 438 dollars this is a technical analysis all right this is not a magic one but looking at the structure of the first wave the height of the first wave projecting it at the end of the second wave we can set a target at 438 dollars for Tesla stock so what Mr. Mr. Musk was talking about in the news this is not what I want to show you uh, Mr. Tesla was talking about in the news uh, the price that he was quoting to take a Tesla stock to private all right the sector 
is correct. He's correct uh, looking at the price target. Uh, Mr. Mark was correct about that. All right, he was correct about that price. But there are many things that you need to understand. Uh, also, if I go back to my chart, all right. Tesla stock came into the market, the, the initial public offering for Tesla was in 2010, on the 29th of uh, June 2010, uh, the opening price, uh, or the initial public uh, offering was at uh, $17, so if you buy Tesla during that time, at the, big, at the time when you came to the market, uh, you have, made, you have, you have uh, multiplied your investment by 20 all right, 20. So if you invested uh, $1,000 in 2010 buying uh, the Tesla store, today you will be, your, your portfolio, uh, the value of portfolio will be like uh, 20,000. 20 times the initial investment. So if you bought it at $17 uh, in 2010, as uh, it was in the market, you today you can see that the store went up big time, all right. Uh, now it's, uh, it went up to uh even near 400 so you have uh, okay multiply your initial uh, okay uh, investment by 20 so if you are a new investor or you are beginner trading the stock market try to play with the initial public offering now i have uh, other thing i will talk about this in another uh, youtube channel i'll be talking about it at the two four stock trader uh, there is a strategy one can develop okay that i have work on that i can tell trader how to play the initial public offering if i forget remind me again but at the two four stock trader youtube channel all right now but again the next scenario that i want to mention is that if the third wave is extended that's the second scenario the this is what we are calling the fourth wave will become the second wave the second manner wave of the third wave are you follow me if the third wave is extended this will be the first manner wave of the third wave and this is this will be the second manner wave of the third wave so what we are calling today the fourth wave will become the second manner wave of the third wave and then we have the third mono wave of the third wave, and then the fourth mono wave of the third wave, and the fifth mono wave of the third wave. Before we will see the real fourth wave of the, the, the of, uh, of 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 uh, Tesla stock, plus the fifth wave, okay, of Tesla stock. As always, whenever we come one, two, three, four, five, it becomes one. Unless you are new to us, I'm not going to explain here anymore. If anytime we come one, two, three, four, five, it becomes one. You see here we come. One, two, three, four, five, that become ones. All right. So if on a monthly chart we can one, two, three, four, five, it become one. It means that this is a linear wave, a multi wave. This is a multi wave on this particular time frame at this point in time. That five become one on that particular point in time. All right. So one, two, three, all right, four, five. If the third wave is not extended now. If the third way is extended, we'll have one, two, and then we have the third way that is prolonged, becoming one, two, three, four, five, completing the third way before we'll see the fourth way and the fifth way. That remains to be seen. Looking at the structure of uh, this correction here, all right, either you call it fourth way, either you call it a second manner wave of the third way that is likely to be extended. Mm -hmm. If you go to the weekly chart, all right, you will see quickly that. Uh, the price came down here. You see, one, two, three. If you call this A, one, two, three, B. All right, one, two, three, C, one, two, three, D. All right, now you see how one, two, three. That's what I'm saying to you. We are expecting another move down, probably. We will see, unless uh, this is just uh, the E part of the A, B, C, D, E. All right, unless this is the E part of the A, B, C, D, E. But in my view, you need to be very, very careful, especially those who are selling Tesla stock, to be very, very careful, because uh, even if you see, you call this the, the end of the third wave, we do not have yet the fifth wave, all right? Or, if you think that the third wave will be extended, there's still room for the stock to go up. But at the end of the day, my friend, as we say in London here, at the end of the day, what we are trading first is the S&P 500, all right? So if the S&P 500 become bearish, right, the mini stock will come down. We are talking about the market environment, the season in which we are trading. All right, very very important. So key level to remember: if though for 
the stock may go down to 255 or 219 before heading up. Bearish trading because there are a lot of uh, stories about the selling uh, Tesla stock. So the news, you, if you want to check the news, about, I will put the link also in the description section. This is Mr. Elon Musk, if you haven't seen him before. It's about Tesla uh, car, electric cars, all right? So the news was that uh, Mr. Elon Musk uh, okay, did post a tweet uh, about taking a Tesla company into private. Uh, was quoting a price of 420 uh, because a lot of uh, investors, hedge funds, were, were shorting, shorting means that sell for, sell and hold, uh, shorting Tesla stock. Uh, a lot of the stock went up 11%, so they were kicked out of some of the, those uh, uh, investors were kicked out of the market, some of the technical traders, a lot of people that were selling Tesla stock uh, were kicked out of the market, all right? They, they lose money. So because of that, they, they, they report the matter to the Security and Exchange Commission, which is the sect. Uh, now Mr. Trump has to answer some question related about his tweet because people were talking about market manipulation. That, that tweet has manipulated the market because of that tweet of taking Tesla stock talk to private and quoting the price of uh, 420 uh, has uh, propelled the stock up 11 percent causing those who are shorting or selling tesla stock to lose or putting them under pressure or forcing them to close their trade that news now because of that some of those uh, short sellers as reported okay uh, mr elon Musk to the security and exchange so therefore, Mr. Musk must answer some question, all right? But at the end of the day, all right, the future of Tesla stock is looking brighter, all right? Looking at the chart, technically speaking, all right, technically speaking, we see one, two, three. As I explained to you, uh, there's still room for this stock to go up. But if one forget completely, if one forgets completely that we are trading first in market, one can get into trouble. And economy news can change the dynamics of the market. So, for instance, one more scenario. If Mr. Ma happened to be put under serious uh, pressure by the SEC, and that news is becoming more and more okay, negative for Tesla company, you will see the stock coming down more and more. You will say, Joe, your forecast is useless. No. The economy news, the market environment can change the dynamics of any area wave analysis. So if the news is becoming more and more bearish for Tesla company or Mr. Elon Musk, that can drag the stock okay, uh, further down, all right? So the better they resolve the bottom, the quicker it is. But today, looking at the chart, on a monthly chart, all right, uh, there are more room because the multi-way is not yet completed, and there is more room for the stock. How long it will take? So one should take a long-term view, all right, long-term view for this uh, stock. If one wants to buy and hold, that's a long-term view is more likely to go up than down unless the fundamental is uh, the fundamentals are deteriorating so if the fundamentals are becoming weak and weak and weak and bad news are coming in for for tesla stock or tesla is facing more co more all right competition from uh, uh, lucid another company that uh, uh, create electric car, car uh, then uh, that will become uh, more bearish. Now, there is uh, something very interesting here I want to talk about. Is it personally, I'm not here, I'm reading now, okay, person, personally, I'm going to look to see how the stock open on Monday. We are talking about because today is Saturday. All right. All right. We are talking about Monday, all right, uh, the 27th, all right. So here it is, 27, all right? So, you say, personally, I'm going to look to see how the stock opened on Monday, 27 of August, 2018. If it does not drop precipitously, based on this, talking about the bearish news, I will personally view it as an opportunity to add to my short position, said Irons, who's out of the money put option, okay? Out of the money put option, make money if Tesla stock declines. So this is somebody, okay, short, uh, that is short in this stock. And I found that very interesting. So this is one thing we are saying to traders all the time is this. Though there are a lot of uh, negative news coming out relating to Tesla stock, what the gentleman is saying that, all right, I want to sell this stock, but if the stock comes down very, very fast, all right, very, very fast, all right, 
on Monday, then he cannot sell. But if he stays gently as it is, he will look for opportunity to sell it. That's why we say to friends, if you want to sell, you want the price to go up more. But if the price already drop big time, you stay out. That's what the guy is saying there. All right? So if Monday is not drop big time, he will stay out. But if he stay gently like this, the way things are looking is looking more bearish, therefore he will sell. Now at the end of the day, my friend, this is a technical analysis, I need to mention this because, because this is a, a very a big issue in the market now. Personally speaking, for long term investors looking at this chart, Tesla stock still has a room to go up. The price that Mr. T Mr. Elon Musk was quoting of 420 is reasonable using our profit target, okay, the width of the first wave. This stock has a high chance, talking about medium to long term, to go into the region of 438. Alright? If this is n this is the third wave, alright, and if this is the third wave, we are likely to see the fourth wave bringing the price a little bit near the zone of uh, 255 or 219, unless uh, this is uh, uh, unless the fourth wave is completed already before we'll see the fifth wave. Alright? But if the third wave is extended, it means that this stock in the long term will go up more forming one, two, three, four, five, manner wave of the third wave before we see the real fourth wave and the fifth wave on the monthly chart. Even if we go to the yearly chart, you see quickly that uh, uh, this stock is not in the third wave. All right, I'm waiting for my data to come up now. Hopefully it won't be too long before we start seeing uh, the information on my chart. Uh, otherwise, I will just wrap it up. Yeah, now we are, have it here. This is the, the, the on a yearly chart. You can see that if you call this, you see the consolidation, first wave, second wave. We cannot call this year the third wave as such. You can see all the shadow on the top. Uh, it doesn't lose truly, truly as a third wave, all right, at this junction yet. But we need to look at every scenario and take it one step at a time. We are looking for what? Trading setup, all right? If you see a trading setup, we will implement a top down trading method. Alright, if you don't know about trading, top down trading method, go to www.stochasticdicemoney.com, click on uh, top down trading method, and then we will trade it like a pro. If the signal fail, we just come out. If you are an investor looking to buy and hold, there are m there is a high chance that this stock may go up more, even hitting the target or that Mr. Elon Musk was talking about 420. That's a long mid term to long term for day trading, swing trading, short term. Uh, high chance that the stock may go to 255 or 219 before going up. But anything is possible because there is a kind of a triangle being formed here, as I show you on the weekly chart. So a triangle, technically speaking, it means that anything is possible. The stock can break out and gash out, squeezing all the short sellers or gap down if the bearish news continues. All right. So this will conclude our discussion today about the Tesla stock, Elon Musk, Elio Wave stock analysis at a fast a speed. Okay. All right. So if this video has been truly, really, truly really useful to you, please let us know by giving us the thumbs up. If you dislike it, please mark it down. All right. All right. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please uh, feel free to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bar, the notification icon, this notification bell. So anytime you record a new video, you will be the first person to be notified. All right. Until the next time, enjoy your strength and uh, be uh, very happy. We are the GSTW24 uh, traders talking about Tesla stock, Elon Musk, in your wave stock analysis at a fast uh, speed. So, talking about electric car is normal to talk about a fast uh, speed. Was it fast enough for you? So, let us know how what you think of this tutorial in the comment section. We want to hear from you. Happy training to you all. And I will uh, uh, speak to you as uh, soon. Thank you for watching.